I am absolutely bonkers obs <laughs> obsessed with this game. I have logged uh, 85 hours on this game so far. It is so much fun. It's really good. There's different endings to Papers, Please? Oh my gosh. I don't even remember. I don't even remember how it ended. So I did some farming. <laughs> some like actual farming and then some in-game farming. Um, so now we are stocked up with repair kits and uh, level 2 repair kits and level 2 bombs. So we can unlock that stuff. Made a bunch of food. Look at this food, you guys. I want to look at it. Make it bigger. It is a bouquet salad. Look how good that looks. I got the recipe for these little Conello buns. That's for finding the little Conello dolls. It's like by far the most powerful food in the game. Like with the healing. It's not, it's not too expensive to make either. I forget what goes into it, but... Um, yeah. But let's, uh... Let's do our main story here. These are my, my character side quests I've been doing off stream. Very good. Prompting me to continue their stories. Crappies. These are all peach trees. All here. All on that side. All back here. All peach trees. I've been planting these little moon fruit trees. Those are still growing. I got just tons of cucumbers and tomatoes and... Hello, little these are all Looks strawberries. Like I see that. And tomatoes. Hello, little Ooh, my radishes. Hello, my radishes are ready. Hello, little crappies. My radishes, my carrots. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Is my number Hello, little crappies. Speciality. Little crappies. Then, uh... I found out that peach and apple Hello, jam is purely t for selling. There we go, I got peach jam. Look at how cute this peach jam is. Look how cute that is. Um, it's purely for selling, and it's worth like 500 grilla a piece. So, you make all the peach jam. I don't have any peaches in my inventory at the moment. Let's grab some peaches. Fill it up with, since I'm, I have an abundance of peaches. I have... Where are my peaches? 194 peaches! And 91... Special peaches. I don't know actually If putting in these these high quality peaches does that make high quality jam? I'm not sure. Let's test it We got to do our chores before we head out on our adventure to save the world Kiss all the chickens Kiss the chicken wings. Feed the chicken wings. Delicious jam. Mwah, mwah. I gotta kiss everybody. Mwah. There you go. Here's your food. Very good. Gotta refill our stuff. We need... Oh my gosh. I'm just lazy and throwing everything. We need, we need money though. Let's see. Let's sell that, sell that. 30 tomatoes in there? Let's sell these. Sell. Sell. Sell, sell, sell. Sell. Store, 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 store. Let's grab two of those. Two of those. Need a battery. Empty battery. And these. Doom, doom, 
Oh, we need the milk to make more whatever we're making. Mayonnaise? No. Cheese. Oh, we've been making the cheese. Make the cheese. More cheese. We'll just end up selling a bunch of the cheese. I should probably sell some of this cheese. Here. I should probably sell this high quality stuff. I'm gonna do that. Oops. What did I take? No, not the not the flour. I'm gonna need to make more flour. Let's sell all of this. We need some money. We need some cash. Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay, let's plant more stuff. What do we got? We got radishes, we got what grows fastest? The onions. Let's just get these three wheats out here. Quit nope. Wheat. Put the wheat down. And let's do the let's do the dressed lettuce. Wait, how many radishes do we have? 60? 49? Yeah, let's get the lettuce. Let's lettuce planted. Hey champ! Nom nom cheese! Looks so good. Video game food. Video game food looks so good! Not doing a very good job. My layout makes no sense. It's fine. Enough wheat is planted to stop the big bad. I gotta buy more wheat, actually. I gotta stock up on the wheat. Cause wheat feeds my, um, it makes flour and it feeds my chickens. Cause I make the wheat into uh, chicken feed. So I gotta get a lot of that. Oh, we're done. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's do the radishes. Oh, we gotta water these. Drink up, bubbles. Here we go. Ooh, I'm so excited for the little moon fruit trees to finish growing. <laughs> My farm just is like laid out so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Oh shoot, this, we gotta put something else in the smoker. The smoker and the juicer need something. Let's see. So we need, uh, let's smoke some eggs. And in the juicer, let's put the pink aloe. Egg. There we go. Everything's going. Let's sell that radish. Sell that. Let's put the eggs and this back in there. I'm gonna hang on to the seeds. I'm gonna put these back in there for now. Um, I got a bunch of food. I don't like having a lot of random foods. Okay. I'm gonna go see if I can make more of that So I'm going into, into the final dungeon here. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need my, my good foods here. Um, what is it? What do I like here? What do I like? The Nikujaga. Yeah, I like that. Let's make a bunch of those. Yeah. Mmm. I can taste that beef right there. I can taste it. Andy, hi, Andy. Um, so this game is a mix between a, like, a farming simulator, similar to Stardew Valley, and a JRPG, like Final Fantasy. So it is, it is, uh, 
made by Square Enix. So it's a, a Square Enix uh, style like story. Um, and it is fan freaking tastic. I have logged 85 hours on this game so far. I'm obsessed with it. Um, heads up, even though we're just on the farm right now, we're about to head out um, and do the, uh, we're, we are in the epilogue of the game. We're in the final dungeon. So um, uh, huge spoilers, huge spoilers for the story. The story is uh, bigger in scope than I ever expected a farming game to go into, but it's fantastic. I love it. There's a lot of characters. Um, you can do all their stories. That's what's really cool is that um, you have all of these. These are all your party members. And you can do like these little um, these little red pips are how far I've advanced them in their in their personal stories to get to know them. And from what I understand, at the end you can marry one of them as well. So it's got like a kind of like in Stardew, it's got a um, like relationship system uh, as well. So it's kind of got a little bit of everything. Um, <laughs> but who's gonna beat Sephira? <laughs> So, yeah, I, I've been absolutely obsessed with this game. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend if you like, especially if you like farming simulators, the kind of like, um, you know, one more day mechanic, kind of like Stardew, you know, okay, one more day, one more day. Let me do, let me do Such one more day. Job. Such a big job. I wonder if that means I can plant, plant charge level two. I wonder if that means I can do the, the, um, Planting nine s squares of seeds at once. That would be amazing. And the Wind Fairy Stone. What does the Wind Fairy Stone do? You have to appease your little fairies. Maybe one of them will be in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> the little fairies. The great fairies. They'll, they'll be in there. Alright. There we go. We're good. We're good. Oh, no. We got to check our uh, other biomes real quick. We got to check our water side biome. Nothing there. Let's go grab these. Let's check our cave. We got stuff growing everywhere now. Ooh, yeah. Cave ready to go. Get our peppers. Hello, little crappies. Our curry herbs are not ready. Those will probably be ready tomorrow. All right. Here we go. Let's put everything in here. And head out. I think we're ready to go. Let's go. Take it easy. Okay. All right. Here we go. Stella Nursery. Here we go. Final dungeon. Did we? Yep. Spiral to the beginning. All right. Here we go. To think that this is what was inside Regaya's crust. This goes against all learned science. <laughs> all right. Oh, I forgot to check what, cla what classes am I using. I'm still like trying to level up certain classes. I always keep this one for the healing. Oh, and the music in this game is fan freaking tastic. It's so good. There are formidable creatures here. Be careful. I see that. We're gonna run around him. We don't need to aggro him right now. Mechanic's not my favorite class, but I'm trying to level it up. This is probably the one I've used the least. This is this is this is Hayne's class, so I let him be the mechanic. He's good at it. He's a good tank. Looks like a maelstrom of evil. We're like inside a crystal, kind of. Arya's pulling a Sephiroth. No, she's creatures. she's better now. She's not trying to destroy the world.
<laughs> I've already gotten two bad endings for this game. We, we, we've actually seen the credits twice, but both of them were bad endings. And I was like, wait, what? And then we figured out how to continue and hopefully get the good ending. It was great. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Look at all the sparklies. Something shiny catches your eye near the stone pillar. If you move a few rocks out of the way, you could probably get it out. But the pillar doesn't look very stable. Move the wrong stone and the whole thing could crumble. Ooh. Uh, yes. You move the stones and the pillar remains stable. You take the shiny object with no issue. You receive a large fire core. Oh my gosh, do I have to do like every other one or do like the opposite one to make sure it doesn't fall? Oh, interesting. Yes! That was what I that's what I want, the large water course. I'm gonna take like every other one. Earth core. Just say no. Thunder core. Okay. Okay. Should we do more? I'm gonna do this one. Ugh. Sage core. Now, now it's definitely gonna fall if I move anymore. Oh, stable. Ice core. Okay, let's do the opposite one. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna die. Whoo! Poison core. Watch, it's gonna like, it's gonna stay stable no matter what. <laughs> we have to see. We have to see what happens. Poke it with a stick. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna laugh so hard if it remains stable no matter what. No! With a large crash, I got greedy. The pillar comes tumbling down. You jump out of the way without any injury, but the shiny object is lost. Okay, so the last one you pick gets lost. Oh my gosh. The greed paid off. Heal. Ow. Let's combine our efforts and put this business together. That was a good workout. <laughs> Another level. We're better off avoiding it. This is so pretty. Oh! I need more stamina. There's a chest over there! I want the chest! Oh no! Ooh, a truffle! Those are so rare. I've gotten one of those before, and I think, uh... I think I used it in a recipe to give to one of the townspeople. That's the second one I've ever gotten. Please don't accidentally eat it. Get it off your Y button. Oh my god, I can't accidentally eat it. No, please. Be careful. Whew. Um. 
It's really clever how they do the bad endings. It was, it, it's actually like, I don't know. Do you want me to tell you, since you're asking about the bad ending specifically, do you want me to just tell you or do you want me to like tell you without spoiling it? I forget if you were here and saw it. Like, do you want me to tell you what happened exactly, or, or, kind of vaguely? So basically, it get, at one point it gives you a choice between two options. Like, which group of people do you want to kill? And either, op both options, no matter what you choose, give you a bad ending. It technically gives you a different bad ending. It basically just like rolls credits and there's a couple like text things that tell you what happens. Um, And it seems like, and I picked both of them because I picked one option. I got the, a bad ending and I was like, oh, it must have been the other option, which was odd because it was kind of like just a whatever you think is right. And I was like, okay. So I picked the other option and I got another bad ending. And I started getting scared that like, oh, what if like I needed to do something earlier in the game to get the good ending, right? Um, but what it ended up being was uh, when it asked you to choose which group of people do you want to kill, you had to say no. Because basically, you choose, and then it says, like, are you sure? Because it is a big decision. Um, and so it asks you, you know, are you sure this is who you want to choose? And I just assumed that saying no would would have said Oh, so you want to choose the other option? Yes. You know, and then you would confirm that. And if you said no, and then it was like, oh, well, you want to choose your first option. That's what I assumed, it because I was like, okay, this is the end of the game, right? Um, but what you're supposed to do is say no. You're supposed to basically continue to refuse to choose a group of people to kill. Um, and then if you choose the right options in the next couple dialogue things, then way more game happens. It's really cool. So it's like you have to refuse to kill people. You have to refuse to refuse genocide and find another way to save the world. It's great. I love it. Love it. It was so it was really well done. It was really well done. Definitely beyond the pay grade of a humble farmer. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. That's why it's so great. You think this is a cute little farming game? No. <laughs> no, the bad ending is choosing genocide. That's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cute little farming game. Yeah, you would think that the bad ending is, oh, a flood destroyed your farm. No, bad ending is you chose genocide. Welcome to Square Enix JRPGs. <laughs> hey, Peachy Moon. There's a chess-looking device with lots of buttons, each with a letter written on it. Push the right buttons, and maybe it'll open. Oh! The chest jolts you with electricity. You must have pressed the wrong button. Your health decreases. Oh my gosh. Okay, so H. A? Ah! I love this. We're going to keep getting shocked and hurt. H. C. F. No! Why do I choose wrong every time? H. C. N. H. C. N. I'm gonna die. This better be worth it. This 
better be worth it, man! H. C. N. O. H. C. N. O. P. A Soma Potion and a Moonfruit Sapling. That Soma Potion's like the best potion in the game. Apparently. Extremely rare drink made from wise man's root. It's said to fill those who drink it with vitality. Can I make those with the wise man's root? I don't know if I've ever tried putting those in the drink maker. There you go. Look at all these cores I have. Holy heck. Oh, is it like a chemical compound? That could be. I don't know. Sounds like it. That was interesting. All right, I gotta get back home. Make something else with this truffle? No. Put. Oh my gosh, all these cores here. Put truffles safely in storage. Ooh, super shot. Really hard skin. How much is that worth? We'll find out. Now I want to put a wise man's root in the drink maker. Sleep. Ooh, the radishes are worth quite a bit. Wow, the radishes are worth... Oh, gold radishes, but still. Holy crap. Those gold radishes are worth like a thousand apiece. Over a thousand apiece. So a regular radish must be... Oh my god, radish farmer. We are now radish farmers. Holy money. Radish farmers! <laughs> Radishes for my boy Tingle. Yes. Oh, there's there's a dark unicorn. We found out because that that like white and blue unicorn that we've been hanging out with. There's a there's a dark one. Oh, my peaches are ready to harvest. Peaches! Oh my gosh! Oh, our strawberries are ready. Hello, little crappies. Hello. More strawberries. All the peaches. Hello, little crappie. Hello, little crappie. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappie. Hello, little crappies. 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 They really couldn't have a second voice line. Oh my god. Everything is ready! My cucumbers. My straw buddies. My wisty peaches. My stellar wheat. Everything. My entire farm. It's just a harvesting day. I'm making this my follow. -up. Alert. Look at all these peaches, you guys. So many peaches. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sending you all the love, Peachy Moon. Begging to be harvested. I'm so sorry, going through a tough time. You never know, like, um, you know, like if you lose a job or, or something, you know, so, something goes not how you wanted it or expected it to. You never know what, what that could lead you to next. You never know what, like, doors could open because of that, you know? Sometimes in completely unexpected ways. Some, something wonderful could have, could at some point happen because, because you're not there anymore, you know what I mean? Drink up, buddies. So you never know what doors it could open or what it could lead you to. So just like, you know, keep your drink up weapons. It really sucks, but you know, keep keep that positive positive mindset that good morning. you never know when good things are around the corner. Hey, no. Oh, these little trees are gonna be so cute! Yeah, all the radishes. Oh, here. Yes. Radish money. Give me that radish money. I need to expand my farm. I think I got enough peach trees. What do you guys think? I gotta save the world, but like, fermenting barrel. But my farm. Wow. I'm just gonna sell these these peaches. Let's see. Okay. Um, shipping box. So what am I gonna sell? This is the. I get nervous. Okay, that is the shipping box. Okay. So sell. Sell, sell, sell. Sell. The, I, the, the weed I use for food. Um, I wish you could sell the batteries. There were, I mean, you can, but they're worth like not much. They're worth like fifty bucks. Hey bees! Oh shoot, I saw you earlier. I saw your little bee emotes earlier, but I think I was in the middle of a monologue. <laughs> As I do. Let's see. Sixty-two yeah, uh sell these. Um It's a lot of peaches. It's a lot of peaches! Okay, okay. Get our grass. Where's our grass? Two grass. We need an empty battery and two of these. Uh, we need the milk. How much is this? Uh, 
Ten. Ten milk. Oh, and then we need oh, a drink. We need to make more drank. Give me peach juice. Look how cute the peach juice is with its little green straw. Thank you, I appreciate- I always appreciate the lurk bees. Everyone who's lurking, I appreciate you. Ooh, wait, the drink maker. I wanted to make, um, put the wise man's root in, in there. Make a wise man's drink. There you go. Let's see what that does. Alright, let's go feed the, and kiss the animals. Can you let me in? Thank you. Do you want fed or not? Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> They're not going to let me out. They're trying to escape. It's all on the main farm. Water side. Coconuts. Coconuts. <gasps> Hi, Honks Cat. Miss Mio. Thank you for lurking. Are you happy, Chicky? Yeah, Ren's one of the chicks. ready? Or not ready? Oh, they're still not ready. Okay. Alright. Time to adventure. I'm almost done leveling up the dragon. Well, until I unlock the, like, advanced tree. Which I gotta do more of the... That was a good workout. More of the story for what's-his-face. He's basically a dragoon that looks like Alfie. He's basically Alfie and Astinian's kid. What's his name? Acer? A A A Acer? Wait, where are we going? Wait, oh! Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez! I'm stuck! Nope. 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 Shoot. Okay. First, we're going here. Oh, it's going too fast. Okay. Then we're going straight over there. I was looking at the mini-map instead of the actually where I am. <coughs> I 
Oh, no, that is fully unlocked. Shoot. I need to switch that out. Oh, actually, I can do that right here. Crystal's right over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to be by a crystal to switch my stuff here. Okay, so Skylancer's done. Who else? Uh, Lunamancer. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. But we have to... We still have a couple to unlock there. The mechanic still has a lot to unlock. Is this fully unlocked? Oh, no. We got a lot more. I actually really like the... Um... Actually, let's level that because I actually do like this class. The Avenger. I can't believe there's two classes I still don't have. Why do I not have level 6 closeness with Hein yet? Yeah, this is the Avenger. I like the Avenger. That's Brock's class. how fast it is. There's like no charge. It's a ranged uh, attack class with no charge. You just attack immediately. Which gets your party members in there. That's what I like about it. Oh, hi. Hi. I don't really want to fight you. Formidable creatures. I have no idea. You? Ow. I don't have a reason to fight you right now. Two large water cores? Beautiful. Gun flip. That was a good workout. Rifle flip. Be on another level. We're better off avoiding it. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to fight it. Ooh, oh, there's a lot of things. Oh, goodness. I don't want to fight any of them. I don't want to fight him. That's a lot of dudes. Now you got a you got a sword, so now either you will die a hero or we'll see you become the Sephiroth. That's right. No, you need the long hair for Sephiroth.
Man, the moon... You could have an entire farm of moon fruit saplings. Moon fruits. I'm a moon fruit farmer. What's that? They get up there. Let's combine our efforts and put this business to bed. Weak to ice? Not weak to ice. Are you weak to ice? No, no, you're dead. It's cool. You can swap between ice rifle and fire rifle. There's a lot of things. That tunnel looks to be on another level. We're mm. better off avoiding it. No. 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 Crescent moon fruit tart recipe. And a what? It looked like it said like Adamus fruit or something. I think I read it wrong. There is. Completing this is making, like, the upgraded version of each of them. Something I haven't harvested yet. Music is so good, isn't it? It's so good throughout the entire game. It's amazing. Whoa, it's loud. Sounded like they said, Say la vie. That enemy looks to be on another level. We're better off avoiding it. All the moon fruits. What am I gonna do with all these moon fruit saplings? I'm gonna make some moon fruit tree orchards. Moon fruit orchards. Oh, level two bombs. I have those. Oh no. Oh, I thought that was gonna take an hour put me past midnight. Sunstone, wise man's root. There's a bomb, another bomb over here. Right here. Ah, that's the shortcut. That's gonna consume an hour, so now we need to go home. Like, immediately. But we got the shortcut. Yeah! Oh! Adama's crystal! That's new. An extremely hard crystal. Legend has it this is the hardest crystal to have ever existed. Wow. Fortify. I should see if I have enough to fortify my weapons. And my friends. <gasps> Fix all of the ladders. That was the final ladder. 
the the hardest crystal to have ever crystal. That's right. I'm gonna go throw these things in the shipping box real quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry. So when you get to midnight, um, the edges of the screen slowly start darkening, and if it gets too dark, you fall asleep, and the doctor has to put you in bed, and she charges you all kinds of money for coming and saving your ass. I got $6,900. For all those peaches. <laughs> no, house calls are not cheap. Though technically, uh, I mean, she does come from the neighboring village. It's not like she lives next door. But technically, the way she phrases it, uh, she found you passed out outside of your house. And carries you home. So really, she just picks you up and puts you in bed and then charges you, like, $2,000 for doing it. <gasps> oh my gosh! Empty smokers. Oh, that wise man's root does make a Soma potion. A drink. I do. Kiss the chickens, give them a kisses, tell them their love, lay me some eggs and give me some feathers. I need to see if I can make another level two feed maker. Who the sun came out here, IRL? Peach jams. That's worth a lot of money. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. Hello, the veggies are simply bursting to be hard. Hello, little Burst crappies. <gasps> I didn't know I could go bigger now! Hello, little crappies. That's the level 2 harvest. Oh my god. I didn't know. Oh my gosh. Hello, I didn't know I could go so big. Morning. Morning. Drink up, weapons. Drink up, weapons. Oh my goodness. I can harvest even faster. What about planting? Good can I morning. plant faster? Yes, I can! Oh, yeah. Woo! Yes! Yes! Take that. Ooh, gotta have enough seeds, though. Oh, I'm so happy to save so much time! Take this. Take that. I, I I don't know why. The harvesting is the only one that has one quote, and I don't know why. Take this. The rest of them have at least a, a couple. Take, that. take this, take that! She goes, hi yeah. So it's at least a little different each time. I don't know why they didn't do that for harvesting.
keep forgetting about that little square right there. Drink up, bubbles. Alrighty. Do we have, a uh, strawberry juice? Have we ever made that? This is tomato juice. Peach, coconut, grape, orange, apple, berry, aloe, firelight, palma, and ginger ale. <gasps> We've never done strawberry. Oh my goodness. Make, nope. Make some strawberry juice. Make some strawberry jam. Make some strawberry everything. Okay, we need, uh, we need all that stuff. We need milk. I got so many potions now. Um, milk. Well, let's do the gold one. Um, egg. We did the juice. Uh, we need our battery. And our battery, and we need our wheat and grass. Egg, egg. Battery, chaos powder, chaos powder. You get really fast at all this after 85 hours of, of the game. All right, give me that nectar. Okay, those aren't ready yet. I think the honey flower makes syrup. Aha, the spice is ready. Yes? Oh no, this. Oh, oh we got more peppers. Hello, Peppercorns. We got our curry Hello, herbs. We can make curry crappies. spice. Hello, little crappies. Hello, little crappies. And we're off. Oh, no, wait. Did I plant more? I did. Bye bye. Chaos powder. You get the chaos powder. There's a. Um, so, in between every season, there's one day where this thing called the Quietus happens, uh, which is actually what we're trying to. Uh, that's why we're going into this, dun this final dungeon, is to try to cure the Quietus because it makes people sick. Uh, and die if they go outside during that day. So we're trying to find like a cure for it. Um, and we believe the cure is here in this Stella nursery. Um, and uh, but during the quietest day there's a well that you can go down on your farm and it's like an endless dungeon and you can get all kinds of rare loot from down there. Um, so I don't know. We're special. We can go out during Quietus. <laughs> All right. Who's got the radishes? Do you got the radishes? Who got the radishes? We should buy some more of this. Six days. Carrots are always good because they grow in a day and they sell for a lot. Let's buy all those. The onions too. Grass, wheat, wheat always good to have a stockpile of that. I want the radishes though. Let's buy 50 wheat. Just have more of that ready to go. Let's buy 50 onions. My farm isn't the biggest, though, because I have a million peach trees, because we have to. We have to have peach trees. I wonder if the Maya has the radishes. First, I'm going to check to see if I uh, can upgrade my weapon anymore. I have the money, I just need the materials. Come on, it. 
Yeah! Monoplate or calcum and pyro liquid. Let's go. 10,000. We need another one of those crystals. Something I haven't even found yet. And pyro liquid to upgrade it more. Um, where's Hein? Yep, we can upgrade Hein. He's, he's permanently in my party. Not only because uh, he's a great tank. But I think he's gonna, who I'm going to marry. Can't upgrade Arya. Can't. Oh, I need. I need that crimson Jesus. iron. Oh, can we buy another uh, chicken? Oh, we can. You can only buy one chicken and one goat a day. I think it's like 120,000 to upgrade our farm again. So we gotta build up to that, but we gotta keep the crops growing, so... I have to buy the crops. Alright, let's check Nemea. I don't know if they got the radishes. They might, because they got all the spring crops. Nope, not the orphanage. The middle story. <laughs> only crops, no brain, only crops. <laughs> radishes? Yeah, they got the rat as many radishes as you can sell me. I mean, granted, they're 390 a piece, but when they sell for a thousand, that's serious cash. Serious cash for not a lot of uh, farm space. Can I buy them all? Oh my god, yes. Every radish and, and four days. That's that's not a terrible grow time. This guy's like, hey, are you back to buy more peach? Peach trees? No, I, I think I might be tapped out on peach trees. Especially because the game's giving me ten thousand moon fruit moon fruit saplings. I've got enough of those for now. Okay, I just wanted the radishes. Radishes are our- is- that's our spring money. We've already planted everything for the day, though, so... Oh my god, we have a lot of onions. Woo! We got a lot of seeds. Alright, that's okay. That's okay, we got plenty of time. It's only day 12. <laughs> Get the potato gorilla. I got I hope hella you bring back souvenirs. Hella gorilla. Spiral to the beginning.
killer pick. That's a shank. Oh, that did unlock the other mechanic skills. Okay. My God. Where are we going here? Can I jump over here? Oh, I can jump over there. Oh, I did not think that was gonna work. Okay, there's a chest there. Okay. I want the chest. We're not gonna, uh, can, again, can we run, jump? Oh, wow, okay. The map is so tight, I can't see where I'm going. Okay. I already went down here. We're trying to go south. Where are we trying to- we're trying to go north. Oh, okay. I see. There are formidable creatures here. Be careful. Gonna be able to get over there. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Ah. Gosh, the moon fruits. Oh my gosh, good night, Jessica. Hi, Arya. No, you just missed us uh, learning that radishes are how you make money in spring. <laughs> yes. Ooh, the music stopped. Uh oh, what is that? Is that some kind of pod? We're looking for a girl in here. There's apparently a girl who's like. Responsible for the quietest or something? Gaia's bedchamber? Uh-oh. 
we're gonna have to defeat Gaia. I don't, I don't know. Thank what? You. What? What? Here's Sephiroth. Oh boy, are we gonna have to fight her machine? That's, that's the girl, that's Namine. So you made it. This is where the planets, where Gaia was born. This girl, is this you? No, this isn't me. This is Gaia. Or rather, her official name is Stella Child, Gaia Type. She was born to be the operating system for the Gaia computer. This, this is very- this just got Chobits. I believe you have already met the girl who served as the operating system for the dragons. You mean Tiela. Oh. That's right. Animus was originally a consortium of three separate institutions. The results of their research were the dragons, the philosophical flame, and the automata type AI. A system imitating a living organism, operated by artificial intelligence, powered by pseudo perpetual motion. Here we go. That is the founding theory behind the Gaia computer. These are all the relics of lost Gaia that appeared around the sea's light. That's right. The girl called them here, perhaps to manifest the beginnings of a nightmare on this planet. You said this girl was connected to the end of everything. What did you mean? Animus ordered the Gaia computer to create a paradise, and so the computer studied an immense amount of human data that had been uploaded to the network. The people really liked peaches. Then it ran a simulation of humanity's collective will and executed it upon the planet. What do you mean by humanity's collective will? Although it was probably closer to collective unconscious. <clears throat> collective unconscious? Con conscious? Conscious? Conscience? Unconscious? Unco why, that, why is that word tripping me up today? What is that? It was a concept invented by scholars of the Gregorian era. They hypothesized that a deeper facet of humanity's unconscious is connected. Towards the end, humans would leave their thoughts on the network, and though as though keeping a life log. Regardless of whether the collective unconscious was real or not, Gaia extracted it from the overall data. Studying the collective unconscious as though it were genuinely scientific resulted in calamity. Hi, Ventu. <laughs> Defeat Gaia in the bedchamber. That's, that's, I think that's what we're about to do. No way. Yes, the unearthing of the Red Queen. You mean to say that girl caused the emergence of the Red Queen? I already told you. All Gaia did was grant the wish of humanity's collective unconscious. Humanity wished for its own extinction. That's right. After analyzing the collective unconscious of mankind, Apocalypse was Gaia's conclusion. And still... Gaia continues to dream of humanity's destruction. This just got very Endwalker. The phenomenon that you call Quietus. So that's what was causing it. Who are you? Good question. You look like this girl, Gaia, but what are you? You're also awfully well informed. I am the other Stella child. The Re-Gaia type, I suppose. 
But please just call me Regaia. Oh man, so officially her name is Regaia. There's another Stella child. Uh-oh. You have angered Gaia. System. Ego. Intruder in Gaia's bedchamber detected. Commencing eradication protocol. It looks like we're out of time. Gaia's defense mechanisms seem to have detected U.S. threats. Do not try. To do try not to lose. Okay. That's okay. If I do, Cress will save me. System oh, man! Ego Woo! Alright, we're going! Now eradicate all foreign objects. We're doing this. Okay. Oh! Okay. Now what, Gaia? I thought she said fetus sequence. Ready to eat a bouquet if I need to. Here we go, oh, no. Ah! <laughs> okay, eat the bouquet. Just for the stamina. Adjusting defense. Initiate out the sequence. Detected. We are Forcing absolutely over. We are decimating Gaia. Yeah! Now she's going to turn into a god, right? She, she's the one in the black dress. Humanity is over. Intelligent life wished for extinction. She got the red eyes! Must complete objective to rescue humanity. No, Chi, don't do it. No, this is Freya. She fled. All bad guys can teleport. Gaia went to the planet center. I thought we were in the planet center. <laughs> to progress the dream of humanity's end and its erasure from this universe. Well then. Ein, brace yourself and listen carefully. Before long, Quietus will blanket the entire planet. 
I have been holding Gaia at bay until now, restricting quietus to just between the seasons, because Gaia and I shared the astrum cell of this planet. But now Gaia has consumed most of that astrum, astrum cell, and I no longer have that power. You shared an astrum cell? What exactly are you? I am a replicant of Gaia. I was born when the astrum cell of this planet was cloned. I thought that was pretty obvious, Arya. In that case, that would make you. Exactly. Think of me as a persona born from a program like Gaia's that resides in the sea's light. I accessed and studied the data of certain groups of intelligent life forms through the sea's light. And so I was awoken, tasked with making their prayers a reality. It was a simple and pure wish made some 2,000 years ago. They wished for humanity's survival. That must have been... Well, deduced Arya, humanity's beloved neighbor, that collective consciousness is my creator. There's still time left before Gaia consumes this planet. If she merges with the Proto, she will use one of the five seas light to do so. On the other hand, you can use that seas light to reach her at the center of the planet. Take this with you. Gaia Seed! Can I plant the Gaia Seed? You can reach the center of the planet if you use this. Please, Ayn, stop Gaia before humanity is swallowed up by her dream of its extinction. I believe if anyone can succeed, it is you. That's right. <laughs> but first, let me go water my plants. That's right. Regaia said Gaia would use one of the five seas lights to erode the, erode the planet. Look over there. Oh shit, Gaia. What? There's some sort of black hole directly above the proto seas light. It's a dimensional rift? It might be the entrance to the center of the planet, Regaia mentioned. Which means Gaia must be inside. This has all taken a terrible turn. Is there anything we can do to stop it? We have to try, don't we? We've come this far. Agreed. This will be the final battle. We should prepare for the worst. All the food! Yeah! I made my mind up a long time ago. I trust your judgment, and I will put forth every effort to achieve our goal. Yeah! Are you getting cold feet? I know how you feel. My whole body trembles before a big fight. But it's okay. I'm right here with you. Ah. We can beat anything when we combine our power. Even Quietus. We're in this together. Let's go, Ayn. It's time to show the stars of humanity what humanity is really made of. I'm going to give it my all. They're all counting on us to protect the world. I always thought it impossible to end quietus, but at some point I started to believe we could actually do it. I this is our final battle. Let's make it count. I like when the characters like tell you they're like this this is the final battle. No, no really, this is the final battle. <laughs> this is the last fight. Let me handle this one. Mm -hmm. 
No. I do, I, I wonder if I want to take uh, Emmo instead of Ayn, though. Or, um, Emmo instead of Arya. Is there a, like... Is there like a Cizla? Oh no, wait, I guess I can change it here. Hold on. Oh no! Who do we want to take? I feel like, no, I feel like we gotta take Arya. Emmo actually has more HP than Arya. Oh no, no, no. Arya's down a little bit. Why is she lose why is she missing HP? I feel like we should rest first. Alright, this is where I take my best classes. What are my best best classes? Pilgrim. We need the healing class, the pilgrim, and mage? Shadow Walker's really good. Increase break gauge fill rate. Cross job, passive skill, increase continual damage. That's good for that. That is good for this. Cross job, passive skill, deal 20% more magic damage, take 20% less physical damage. 20% less magic, 20% more, deal 20% more magic. Deal 20% more break damage. Increase breakage fill rate. I like the Avenger too. Let's see. I, I like Avenger. I actually really grew to love that class. I think I think these are my three favorite classes. I know. Like, are they not going to force me to take a nap? Sun guard, that's really good. I I got almost up. I mean go. Actually, wait, is there a seize light in the other room? I just, I want to save it. Just wanna, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to make a separate save file. Oh, okay, that works. You know what? Let's rest. Let's rest. Fresh. Let's go in fresh. Welcome home. Thank you. If anything, here, yeah, I just... Let's put all this stuff away, and then I want to save it. There we go. Okay, save. Nope. Save. Save. Separate save file. There we go. Alright, and then we're gonna rest, and then we'll head out fresh and early. Just, just hang on for one night, Gaia. Perfect. All right. Day 13. Perfect. And I have to pee, so give me one sec. <laughs> give me one sec. All right. Here we go. Man, I hope you didn't have to, like... You probably do have to, like, complete their story and get to level 10 in in uh, the characters, the, the little pips, in order to, like, marry them. I don't know, because I know there's a system of, like... There's a relationship system. Because I didn't max any of them. So we'll see. 
All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna go right to the final battle. We're not gonna waste any time. Let's go. Bye bye. Save the world. Here we go. Woo! How do we how do we go? Oh, enter bridge. Enter bridge. There we go. We got to go from here. Dun, dun, dun. Are you ready to fight Gaia? Ready to go! The Gaia Seed should take us to the center of the planet. I can use the Gaia Seed. It just lets us survive going into the black hole. Whoa! Now we're really Final Fantasy. It's a dragon boat. Of course we're fighting a boat. What is that? <laughs> what? This is Gaia's true form. This is the source of quietus. Of course, it was a dragon boat all along. She's going to consume the planet. The dream of man's end, huh? It's so ominous, but it feels lonely. It has quite the air of intimidation, no doubt about it. Well, there's no turning back now. To weave a new dream for this planet. <laughs> we fall. No, we fight! You're just in time, Spec. We're gonna beat up the dragon boat. We're gonna fly around. We're just gonna run around. We what? How does this work? No! <laughs> Like watch it. What? We do. We do. No. We do. How do you target this thing? How do you? How do you attack it? Oh, you gotta attack these little things. Dream of man's end. Left core. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Yeah, you guys have the right idea. Oh my god. Whoa! It fired its laser. Oh my god, we should stay on this side. Oh my god. Ow! Ooh. Heal us, Emma. I'll heal us. Woo! Ooh! We run! Oh jeez. Oh yeah. Thank you, Emma. Oh jeez. The puppies. Ooh. No, 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 no. Broke it. All right. Other side. Watch the tail. It's fine. The tail's not really there. It's a Mickey head. <laughs> oh, it used like lightning and like different elements. Was promised a chill farming game. <laughs> it's Square Enix. Square Enix can't make a chill farming game. 
without it ending with you, like, fighting God. Stamina. Alright, eat the food. Oh, we broke it. Alright, what now? Ooh. Now it's gonna go into its desperation phase. Oh, it's flying away! Who designs these things? Oh no, it's flying away! We gotta chase it! Okay. Okay. Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Sir. Sir. <sighs> Sir. Hi. I'm gonna attack you head on. Buddy. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Boom! Ooh. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Ooh. We need all our stamina to run, man. Oh my god. No, you guys run! Run here! Eh? Wow. Ooh. Came out of the black hole. can get out of that in time without running. A Death Stranding movie? Did I scream too loud, Spec? I'm sorry. I do that. Someone sweared. <laughs> oh, my God. Sent out an... Look at that! It sent out an X. Ow, hey! Oh, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry! 
I'm not close enough. Oh no, we're gonna die. Oh! Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. No items. Wait, no, it... <gasps> it disallowed me to eat! I've never seen that. Ow! 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 Oh my god. Oh, I think this removes debuffs. Guard! No. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, that's new. Oh my god. Hi. It's legs. Fine, I'll attack your butt. Ow. The dream of man's end gathers humanity's wishes. Get them, puppies. That wasn't Final Fantasy. This reminds me of uh, the end of Breath of the Wild, fighting Ganon. Oh, crap. Hey, I'm not even in it! I can't, I don't even know what's going on. God, I literally don't know where I am or what, like where stuff's coming from. <laughs> oh my God. I think I got a million of these potions. Okay, I'm just using the potions. I'm gonna shoot it. Oh my gosh. Crazy! This is crazy! Let's say please hit. Please work! Oh crap. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ow. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, Emma. This thing moves so fast. <sighs> oh my God. Just, 
just keep running in one direction until it decides to chill. glowed at the end there. Why? Why do you deny me? Someday you will understand, too. People of this planet. Humanity is nothing but destruction. In the end, you hurt one another, wishing for your own downfall. So if that's what you want, you should all perish right here, right now. That is the dream. The dream of a man's end. Gaia has made a wish to the planet for an apocalypse. Oh no! Ayn has no more strength left. Power of friendship. Woo! Come on, power of friendship. Power of the great fairies. This is it. It's really the end. The power of crappies! So you still want to get up? I am only granting humanity's wish. This is what you wanted, remember? I don't want to be stuck in this cycle of hurt anymore. It's better to put an end to this cruel reality. Famine, war, poverty, disease... No matter how much time goes by, you will never do away with this suffering. Humans are incapable of respecting each other, even when they fully understand one another's beliefs. That is what you are all like, deep down. Harvestella getting <laughs> very deep here. The only reason you haven't realized it yet is because you all hide it from each other. Every time you hurt each other, you chip away a piece of your own heart. Such an imperfect life form is better off extinct. A perfect life form should pave the way. One such as an artificial intelligence that has no heart. And humanity shall come to its conclusion of the species. This was all your own doing. We are imperfect, that's why we dream. Of course, I knew you might say that. But sadly, not everyone can be like you. Haven't you noticed? No one ever quite understands your strong determination. People like you have been born time and time again throughout human history. They are called heroes, and they're seen as exceptional beings. Special beings that aren't human. Hey. People could only accept them into their world if they denied the fact that these heroes were human. Because they were too brilliant. People would rather believe that making an effort is useless. They would rather sit back and watch things unravel. There's no doubt that you are strong. But that strength in your determination isolates you. How do you plan on reversing humanity's conclusion of the species all on your own? Aren't you letting your ego get the better of you? She has a lot to say on this topic. I've made it this far. I've faced countless dangers. 
Was it all for my own ego? No, it was for the crops! Am I on my own? Now, enough talking. Human history ends here. Reach out into the darkness. Yes! Yes! The power of friendship! This is the power of friendship! <laughs> That'd be funny if, like, I didn't 10 star, like, or level up any of any of their stories, and then none of them came to my rescue and I died. <laughs> Ayn is not alone. You pulled me out of a dark place when I was distraught over Tiela. Now it's my turn to return the favor. You've always supported me too. We've all made it this far thanks to you. It's always a pleasure being in your company. You couldn't have drawn us all together if we weren't all fond of you. I want to see this through with you until the end. You got more upset with Kierkegaard than anyone else when he betrayed me. You took it personally. Asiel is right. It's this time it's our turn to back you up. You are not alone, Ayn. We've all come this far together because we feel the same way as you. In the same way as your feelings got through to us, Someday, those feelings will reach this planet, too. Exactly. Even I can sense your feelings, and I am not even human. It is too soon for the conclusion of the species. And I can only say that now, because of you, I... It was you who allowed us to believe in the impossible dream of ending Quietus. Let's see it through to the end. Even Brock is there for me, man. What are we waiting for? Are we kicking some butt or what? <laughs> Arya! When I woke up on this planet, I was all alone. So I felt like I could relate to you a bit because you had no relatives either. We still don't know where we came from. But you and I were different after all. Even still, you saved me when I was taken away by the Omen. And I couldn't understand why. But as I spent more time with you, I came to understand why. You can't stand by and do nothing when you see someone in trouble. You just don't have it in you. Just like any good protagonist. Just take a look around town. Wherever you look, there are people who you've helped in some way or another. So there's no way any of us are going to abandon you now. You reminded us all of the importance of connection. The conclusion of the species is a load of crap. Just think. With someone like you around, the world still stands a chance. And that's coming from me, who's already lived through one apocalypse. Humanity can start afresh. I've come to truly believe that since meeting you, Ayn. So come on. Ah, uh, let's go, Ayn. They're all waiting for you. Am I dead? Yes, the power of silent protagonists. Even silent protagonists can make friends.
punch her in the face. Why won't you understand? Your efforts are useless. I like both those answers. Let's put an end to this nightmare. Indeed. Fine. If you insist. Oh man. My computer just went into night mode. Oh no, she's gonna use the seas light! Then I will make you understand that this dream ends here. Why, why you gotta? Why you gotta? Why do you resist extinction? It was what humanity wanted. Just like Colex with the four crystals. You the history of humanity and its planet. A new star was born. Its life began. A long life. Spanning 4.6 billion years. Their determination gives thine strength. Yes. <gasps> oh no. Biscuit. Monolite Origin Spring. Kill the Spring Crystal. Oh, whoa, it's gonna explode. Oh, ow. Oh, ammo. Thank you for the healing. Ace, thank you so much. A hundred and seventy-seven times. Yes. Move. It began to develop using energy from the planet's moon. But it took such a long time for life to come to be. How cool! It's telling us the history of the planet as we're destroying the season. The monolites of the seasons. What is this healing? That's not ammo. other collecting all these little miracles and realizing so many extraordinary dreams and yet and yet What is this like super healing? HP regen plus 999. We, it, it just gave us all the buffs. That's power friendship. But winter will come eventually. Humanity continues to harm itself. This is the result. Something created from countless miracles. Humans destroy even the most beautiful things in this world. It was you who wished for extinction. No. Now, perish 
Now, there is the one desire of the human race. No. I don't think you understood. I think you read it wrong. I think you misinterpreted the rules. No matter how often you are born, it is always the same. Here I go. I will bring this worthless spiral to a close. Let us end it all. Let us end it all. No, don't end it though. Winter is coming. This is the most voice acting there's been in the entire game. <laughs> Even if you stop me now, it won't change how this will end. You humans will even will let even a miracle this precious go to waste and continue to create your worthless double helixes. But that has led to one more miracle. Who are you? No. Uh, oh, it's her. I, I, I thought her dress was purple. I thought it was another one. There may come a time when all goes to waste. Humans may dra all drown in a sea of mutual distrust, as you said. Well. Yes, they will. Their winter of destruction is inevitable, so. But even still... Even still, humanity keeps on living. Just as the seasons change, their spring will surely come back around too. That's the, uh, something that happened off stream. I went from spring, from winter into spring, and um, the game starts you in spring. So that was like I made a full circle with the seasons. And like the first thing, like when I come out of my house and the little fairies like say good morning to you and stuff, the first day of spring, one of the fairies said something like, like, here's the start of another cycle, or like, now we get to start over, we get to start again, something like that. There was, there was a specific voice line for starting spring again, for like getting through a year. It was so cool. Hey, Tio. If they keep accumulating miracles like these, they might be able to start heading towards a different future. So let us have faith in them and watch over them as they strive earnestly to live in this moment. Regaia rules diplomacy. Promise me one thing. That no matter how hard it gets, no matter how hopeless it may feel at times, you will keep your head up and face forward. That's what we do. That's why we're here. Aria was like, no. That's the quietest. Take it back. She's releasing more quietness. <laughs> She's dissolving. And she anime fades away. That's what Emmo says. It's over. Thanks to you, Quietus is gone, once and for all. Thank you, Ayn. I knew you would make it this far. I'm glad I relied on you that Quietus... I'm glad I relied on you that Quietus day. Thank you for saving me.
No, it is me who has been saved. Now that things have cleared up, it's time that I explained everything to you. Wait, we, we haven't explained everything? <laughs> if you make it out of here safely, then come to meet me at the orbital cradle. Please come by yourself. Am I an Arya human too? Am I a Cain? Over here. Oh, we're gonna play hide and seek. I see how it is. Ah. Uh -huh. Now we have to fight her. Hey, Sean. Am I going in here? No. Am I going? Where is she? Where did she go? Uh. Oh, there she is. Was that my pod? It is all over now, so I will tell you everything. However, once I tell you, you might never be able to go back to this world. What? Will you still listen? Yes. All right, then. Have a look at this pod. Is that my pod? Written on the pod is the name I'm... Why is my name on it? Sleeping inside this pod is you, Ein. The real you. Oh my god, I'm a replica. I'm a Regaia. I see the confusion on your face. But I think you have already noticed that you have another consciousness living deep within you. Whenever you find yourself at a crossroads, or you have to make a crucial decision, it whispers to you. This is not to say that you have multiple personalities. No, you are both Ein. Remember the day you woke up in the midst of quietus. You answered my call. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time to wake up. No, it's not multiple personality. I imbued your empty body with a consciousness. And that consciousness came from Ayn, the person sleeping in this pod. That's you. Well, where'd the empty body come from? You seem to believe that you lost your memory. But that's because you didn't have any memories on this planet to begin with. Why did you need to do that? Your consciousness was the key to saving this planet, because you'd experienced both life on Earth or Lost Gaia, and life on the new planet, Regaia. If you'd only known one of them, you would have been forced to destroy one, like Arya when she became the Harbinger. Although, that would be only natural. All living beings have an innate drive to survive. But that is exactly why I needed you. Your decisions reflected your values, even if you don't remember them. But I chose genocide twice! <laughs> Instead of having to choose between two worlds, you made the extraordinary decision to save them both. Without your firm conviction, we would have never got through to Gaia. We couldn't have ended Quietus. You were the only one who could have done this. 
and thankfully, you succeeded. Thank you. I am forever grateful for the choices you've made, Ayn. This is the story of your world. So please continue to treasure your world. The planets will be watching over you. I will watch over you and humanity. Bye, girl. I mean, Regaia. I mean, Namine. I mean... Epilogue, the story of your world complete. Achievement unlocked, a world without quietus. Bad ending, no. <clears throat> Happy Nemea. Ah, dear Ayn. Ah, how have you been? I'm back in Nemea after a long time, so I've come to the observation deck to enjoy the view and write you this letter. It's been a few months since I left the Argus Brigade and joined the Royal Guard. At first, I thought being in the Royal Guard would be really tough, but I'm getting by somehow with help from Shrika and the Order. The world may look peaceful now, but there are still people out there who need our help. Although Nemea is peaceful as always. Oh my gosh, we get endings for everybody! Asil has joined the Royal Guard and he started bringing children to the orphanage. So we've got our hands full at the time. All the time. I'm not advancing this, by the way. This is auto advance. Speaking of which, would you mind if I told them about you? You better. I'm sure your story would fill them with inspiration and determination. Let me know. I look forward to your reply. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> <clears throat> Life at the tavern is really fun. I sing songs every day and the customers are nice to me. The bartender has made a new dish. It's really delicious, so come by and try it sometime. You know, recently it feels like we've been getting a lot more visitors from out of town than usual. But I've got a good idea why. Hey, Ayn. We've had a lot more tourists coming to Shatola these days. Princess Emma looks like she's working hard. Travel used to be a thing of trepidation in the past. Isn't it wonderful that we can travel without fear again? It is indeed. Speaking of travel, I have some travel plans of my own to tell you about. Listen and be amazed. My next destination is the sky. Oh, he's gonna make an airship. He's gonna make his own airship. I suppose you probably saw that one coming, actually. I know if I asked Dianthus, I could take a trip into the sky at any moment. He's gotta make his own airship, though. But I want to capture the skies with my own hands. If I succeed, if I succeed in inventing my skyship, you shall be the first passenger and I invite to ride on it. Why, you might ask? Because you're the most likely to forgive me if we crash! <laughs> True. Dear Ayn, The commotion within the Order has calmed down a lot since last time. This year should be a lot more peaceful. The followers seem to be in high spirits as well. It is as if the incident with the Flo's Indulgentia never happened. There was initially an air of suspicion and mistrust among the residents of the capital. But now we have all banded together, and we're moving past that. 
I'd like to think that the influence... It, that's the influence you've had on them. By the way, have you heard the news about the Royal Guard? I heard that a seal applied to join. I'll be cooperating with him from now on as a representative of the Order. I hope this inspires more cooperation in the world. Oh, and about Fraka. Is he gonna write to me? <laughs> Yo, how you doing? <laughs> uh, back to business as usual. Mercenaries are almost guaranteed work wherever we go. Always something that needs killing. But one thing has changed. I'm now working under the order. Wow. The Royal Guard pulled me aside and told me they needed able hands. In fact, it was Shrika who recruited me. So he's a mercenary, but he has like also a stable job. I'm a wanted man, though. I don't know what she was thinking. It is nice not to have to live in the shadows, though. The only thing in there... The, the only thing is there's this one priest who just won't get off my case. Apparently he used to be on guard duty at the Western Gate. Do you have any idea who he is? I am making progress with the Paradise Project. Don't worry, it's not the same one that... Uh, uh it's a plan- It is a plan to bring heaven to reality on this planet, a heaven based on the human imagination. In other words, it is a plan to create an open Eden, a safe haven where no one gets hurt. We have gained a commanding leader who has drastically improved our efficiency. Because we have proven unable as AI to make highly ethical decisions by ourselves. Arya is doing well as our leader. Tell me, Ayn, what is the world like now that Quietus is over? We don't leave the Castle of Illusion and the Orbital Cradle much these days now that there are no disturbances with the sea's light. Please let me know how the world has changed when you have a moment. Dianthus, like, please call me. I could gather that data from the monolite, but I'd rather hear it in your words. Aww, the letters! I just stayed in her little house, on her little farm. I await you in the airship. What took you so long? <sighs> I forgot how impatient you were. I've missed this kind of interaction. The only conversation I get these days is with the AI. Anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. I'd like you to join me on a research trip. Where to? Well, an unregistered Eden shelter has been discovered in Lost Gaia. That's where I'd like to go, but going by myself would be kind of lonely, so... You've got a lot of free time, right? I mean, apart from your farm work. <laughs> but my peaches! Ha! <laughs> it's just like our first trip together. Oh yeah, our first trip together was a research mission too, wasn't it? I'm glad you can make it. I didn't have anyone else I could ask. It would have been nice if we could all go together again, like old times. But everyone's gone back to their own lives now that Quietus has been dealt with. Me and my team of AI have got to do something about Lost Gaia. Arya, did you really think you couldn't depend on us? Bunch of eavesdroppers. Even you... <laughs> Even Unicorn is here. I thought... Our feelings haven't changed. I wouldn't think twice about helping a lady. I would come running at the drop of a hat for you too, Arya. 
Arya, you have friendos. But why? Oh my god, the fairies! Hello! I'm here, you called? Ein instructed me to come here. You? Let me guess, you're still living at Ein's house? She better be, she better, gotta help me with the farm. Yes, and? How can you complain when I've brought all these reinforcements? She didn't drag me out here, this one did. Say what you like now, but you were pretty up for it earlier. You were excited to be reunited with everyone, remember? No, I wasn't. <laughs> She's paying him to be here. Is the peculiar creature coming with us, too? <laughs> How dare you refer to me in that manner? But you are a creature. That's enough from you, imp. Freaking unicorn. You see, Ahurya, we wouldn't just let the two of you go on your own. I'm touched. A problem for Lost Gaia is a problem for us all. Learn to lean on us a little. We're your teammates, remember? You're right. Thank you, everyone. Well then, let's appoint Ayn an investi as investigation leader again, just like old times. Don't make me do stuff. You can count on me! Then let us depart right away. Oh, aren't we going to the pod that's in Lethe? I suspected this might happen, so I installed a new function in this airship that would allow travel to Lost Gaia. When did you... Ayn, are you ready for takeoff? Depart for Lost Gaia! Understood. Commencing takeoff. Destination, Lost Gaia. Eden Shelter. Pew! Yay! Watch it says bad end. <laughs> the choices were yes and yes. Yay! I love so much that it gave us like the story. Like it gave come here, B. It, it let us know, like, where everybody was and what happened, and then at the end we were all together again. Come on, Biscuit. Come here. What are you doing? You're silly. Yay! Now, I wonder if we're just gonna go back to our last save file, or if it's going to continue after this. It was interesting that, um, he said that the airship has the ability to go directly to Eden. Um... Which would be interesting because, like, when she said we have to go to the pod um, to get there, like, that's always been a thing that if you want to go to Lost Eden and all of the, like, places connected to that, you have to kind of go through, like, two monolite systems, a bunch of doors and stuff to get there. Like, it takes a while in-game to get there. Come on. Um, that'd be cool if, um, like, you get basically a completed yay you saved the world you saw the credits you got the good end like file and you get to keep playing and then the airship allows you to go directly to eden i wonder if they're gonna do that you didn't invite these people but they like to intrude and surprise you <laughs> Because there is a marriage system in this game, like you can like, uh, like marry one of the characters. Um, but I didn't ten star. I didn't complete any of the characters' individual storylines. So I wonder if I just. I wonder if that happens when you complete their story, like if you get a prompt, or 
if you completed a bunch of them, it, pr it happens at the end here, like you get a choice. Or if the level of your relationship does, I would assume that that matters. So I don't know. I really should have maxed out a couple of them before this stream and like to see what happens. We'll see. We'll see, it's not over yet. <laughs> That was so good! It was really good. This game was incredible. This game was so much more than I expected it to be. Da -da. I've been quiet and we didn't interact a lot, but will you marry me? That's right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So... Uh, yeah, I don't know if it ha- like I said, I don't know if it happens at the end, or if it happens, like, just whenever you happen to complete the level 10. But, I doubt we're gonna see anything here, because I didn't. And now give it a one-star review because you expected a chill farming simulator. I mean, technically? You don't really... Well, I guess you do have to do the story because you have to access new areas to, like, upgrade your stuff. Um... Because you need materials to, like, make stuff. I mean, you can just play it as a farming simulator, like, for a long time. Um... But, like, you know, to get to upgrade your farming equipment and to like get all the fairies which help you on the farm and help unlock stuff you have to do the story so what's up shocker thank you thank you for the 30 months holy heck hope you're doing well Ding. The music is so good. It was all so good in this game. Little biscuit, you're the boy. So yes, if you if you like farming simulators and uh, JRPGs, an active battle system. Uh, uh, relationships with characters and like leveling that up this this is fantastic thank you thank you to everyone who made this game I enjoyed it heckin mu much Yay! Finn! Good Finn. Not bad Finn. We got good Finn. <laughs> bam out of 10. I rate this game a bam out of 10. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yes, thank you so much to Square Enix for sending me a code for this game. Holy heck. I never, ever, ever thought. I thought I was just gonna play it for a couple days and then move on to the next thing. I didn't expect this game to completely, like, consume me for a month. Did not expect that at all. Lo Ooh, cleared! Okay. Load a cleared game file to continue your story in a world without quietus. Create a cleared game file. Yes, why would I not? There it is. Cleared data. Oh, it's got a little star. There you go. It's got a little star. So what about, like, going into the well?
Do I just not go into the well? If I select continue, is this the quietest free? The world has been freed of quietus. You can enter the Caranoid. I thought that was it. I thought it was going to do that. You can enter the Caranoid at any time. That's that's the well. That's the the endless dungeon that normally you can only do during quietus. Now you can do it at any time. I knew it. Continue to enjoy the world of Harvest Hill. That's so cool. Yay. That's perfect. Could not have done that better. You sent something in the loft. Oh, I'm going to have the big trophy. It's going to be the giant boat. Oh, no, here. <gasps> it's me. It's me. I got a me trophy. I got a me trophy for saving the world right in the middle of the room. It's me. Aha. This is the trophy room. The trophy attic. <gasps> It's me. I saved the world. Wonder how much I could get for selling me. This is gold, man. Put put me in the shipping box. Huh? <laughs> Yay for not doing genocide. That's right. It's me. Where's the save the planet? Are the fairies happy I saved the planet? Oh, Castle Lewis Times. Castle Lewis News, a world without quietus. Greetings, citizens. This is so satisfying. It's not just like Finn and there's no like post end game. There's just like, you know, you can like reload your pre saving the world save file and play there forever if you want. This is so good. This is so good. Because this is a game that you can just kind of like play forever, unlock stuff, level stuff up. Like I said, all the side quests, all the character relationships. Um, this is this is so beautiful. I'm, this is so satisfying because because uh, there, there are so many games that you don't get to see the world after you beat it besides whatever like cinematic the credits give you, right? Like you, you don't get to actually like like you, you've spent all of this time living in this world and 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 experiencing it and being in it, and then to actually be able to do that after you've saved it is just mwah, chef's kiss. So satisfying. Eighty-seven months. <laughs> Yearning. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. 87. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. A world without quietus. Greetings, citizens. I am pleased to bring good news to you today. Quietus will never return to this planet. I repeat, quietus will never return. What is what is Cress going to do? I wonder if Cress responds differently because her whole thing was trying to cure quietus. And I, I think I got to level 9 in her story. I wonder if that changes at all. Well, I would like to... Uh, attribute the success to the Kingdom Brigade, that would be misleading. The group I wrote about in the last transmission are to thank. We extend our deepest gratitude to them. Thank you for saving the planet. Ah. I can be certain that conditions here will only get better from here on out. There may even come a day when I can stand before you all and address you in person. This will be the last issue of Castle Lewis News. From now on, I encourage you to live based on the reality you perceive with your own eyes and ears. Humans, I love you. Intelligence Division A. <laughs> Human, I love you. Yes. Uh, oh my goodness. So good. So good. Now we got like two days of growth on our farm. Um... So then we can just, we can just, so we can go to, uh, right here. We can go in here. This is normally only open during quietest one day between each season. Now we can go anytime we want. This, this has just like a, it's an endless dungeon, which a, with a bunch of rare stuff. So we can do that whenever. 
Um... And I'm curious if the airship, I think, like I said, I think souvenirs. the airship can now go. To Lost Eden? Do we have to enter the bridge, I wonder? Or is that, do we get there some other way? Oh. Okay, that's Cyanthus' quest. Um... Maybe there's a way to do it? That would have been really odd for them to actually, like, prompt that and say, Oh, we can go directly to Lost Eden now, which was always kind of an annoying thing to do. And But then we can't? We can't? Maybe I have to complete Dianthus' quest or something first? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm very curious what Cress does. Um, I'm at nine with Emmo and Cress. Um, I'm going to go do Emmo's quest real quick, just to see if that prompts the, uh, the marriage option. Even though I, I would choose Hein, personally, um, but Emmo's like my second favorite. And, uh, but I'm not at nine with Hein yet. And I don't have time to do it right now. Because you can only do, like, one thing a day. I've got a whole peach orchard. I, I, I do need to... I do need to go. But we're going to do this real quick. This is the last I'm going to stream this. Um... She said to meet... Her here, I think, somewhere? Wait, what was it? Uh, talk to Emmo at the Philosophical Hypo Center. Okay, that's... That's here. Oh, I love the music in here so much. This is one of my favorite tracks. Good night, Aria. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful night. I'm so glad you guys were here for this. Oh, Ayn, you came. The bartender gave me the day off. He said I deserve to take it easy after I work so hard at the vigil. He was right. You do deserve it. In that case, so do you, Ayn. It's nice to come here now that everything has calmed down. Last time I was here, I was running away from Chitola. I remember it was pretty late. Well, a lot had happened. But today I'd like to speak to my mother. I have so much to say. I'd like you to come too, I'm... Me? Because I finally found it. The thing I want to do. I've been thinking about this entire time. About what I can do for the sirens. About what I can do to make sure they're remembered. My mother. Everyone. And that's to continue living on the surface. As the last siren. The diva of Shatola. That way, I can pass down our story from generation to generation. I can tell people about the sirens and the curse of their hopes that transformed into Lorelei. I won't let them be forgotten. I will help them live on forever. So you decided? That's right. <clears throat> I'm... This is what I'm going to do. So... Will you continue to help me? 
<laughs> you don't even need to ask. Thank you. She's so cute. Mother, everyone. I've made friends with so many people who I hold so dear. I may be alone, but I'm okay. I don't cry anymore. <laughs> so I hope you can find peace. But please keep watch over me. You can say more if you like. Let's go, Ayn. The people of Shatola are waiting. And besides, we've still got a whole adventure ahead of us. To Shatola! Okay. Mother, everyone, farewell. I promise I'll be back soon. Aww, yay! Alright, so it's not automatic at level 10. So I'm assuming at some point we'll get a, uh... I'll have to look it up, because I wonder if you have to get it before the end of the game. There's got to be a way to get it after the end. There, there must be... There must be some other prompt. Because you always complete... You can only do one part of their story a day, and then you have to wait until you get a letter in the mail that they, like, prompt you to go to the next step, is how all of these character stories work. So you can't just, like do one person's all in one day so you have to it, it, it lets you uh, it makes you spread it out which is nice so we'll have to see or well i'll have to do it off stream and you guys will have to get the game i guess if you want to see <laughs> oh that was so sweet All right, I'm gonna save it. This is my save file now. My star save file. Yay! Yay! This game was so satisfying. I'm definitely gonna keep playing this off stream. I wanna, I wanna max everyone's stories. I wanna see all their stories. All of that. Definitely. Oh my gosh, you're welcome. Thank you guys. Thank Square Enix, because if they didn't give me a code, honestly, I don't know that I, just with all the other games, I don't know if I would have picked this up on my own. So, thank them. Holy heck. <laughs> goodness, goodness. All right, well, um, I will see you guys. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow, because my sister actually just... Asking, uh, my sister just texted me asking what I'm doing tomorrow, so I might go visit my sister and my niece tomorrow. So, um, I will let you guys know in Discord and, uh, on socials whenever I am going to stream next. So, um, and, uh, oh my god, maybe we'll finish Fire Emblem. Or, or start working on finishing the last route in Fire Emblem. That'd be really nice to finish that up. <laughs> Final quote. I just want to put my face on their little feet and smell them. There you go. There you go. Does that game have an end? By God, we are approaching the end of... Well, see, it's got four endings. And I'm approaching the fourth ending. So. <laughs> oh my God, we're so close. I've spent like 400 hours on Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh, man. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm so glad. I'm so glad we finished Harvestella, Harvestella today. Um, and, uh, yeah. I'll talk to you guys on the discords. And I hope you have a wonderful night and a wonderful weekend. And uh, I will see you on Mr. P's stream. 
And I will see you on here whenever I do more things and 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 stuff. Okay, I love you guys. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sailor Jupiter. Thank you, Sean Speck. Take care. <laughs> Take care, Poppy. Make sure you fill out the market if you got five thousand peaches or more and you want to, and you want a gift. Uh, make sure you fill out the uh, market form so you can get your presents. All right, I see you guys later. I'm gonna find somebody cool to raid. Give them your love and stay happy, stay healthy, stay peachy, and do all the things you love. Mwah. Bye.